Yo, the, the division talk, it's never going to end. I got this new joke. I love doing it. I talk about the vax versus the unvaxed and, and how it's like a civil war. And I feel like the, the, the division and the separation, man, it's never going to end now. Because when everybody agrees on one thing, they're going to they're gonna find another way to divide us even further. Like, people that don't wear masks, right? It started like, people that was like, you know, I'm not going to wear the mask. It's getting shamed by people that do wear masks, right? Then they started doing the double mask. So the people that wear two masks think they better than the people that wear one mask. Then it was like, get the shot. But some people that wear masks wouldn't get the shot. So the people that got the shot think they better than people that wear two masks. Then it was like, get a second shot. So the people that get a second shot think they better than people that get the first shot, think they better than people that get wear two masks. Then like a potential booster shot. So the people that get three shots think they better than people that get two shots, think they better than people that get one shot, think they better than people that wear two masks, think they better than people that wear one mask, then the people think they better than people that wear no mask. Then they talk about a fourth shot. So the people that get four shots think they better than people that wear get three shots, think they better than people that get two shots, think they're better than people that get one shot, think that think they better than people that wear two masks, think they better than people that wear one mask, think they're better than people that wear no mask. Then it's people with the four shots that wear two masks that think they better than people that get the four shots that wear one mask. Then, it's people that, <laughs> that, that, that <laughs> yo, I'm trying to remember this shit. It, it, it's just so, it's so much cause for division. Now say, if everybody got like all four shots, right? And we all rocking a double mask and we all doing a social distancing, you know what's gonna be the division after that? Oh, you took the Moderna shot, I took the Pfizer. I'm better than you because I took the Moderna. Oh, you took the Johnson & Johnson, I took the Moderna. I'm better than you because I took the Johnson & Johnson. So Johnson & Johnson gonna compete with Moderna, Moderna gonna compete with Pfizer, Pfizer gonna compete with Johnson & Johnson. That's even further division. Then you got some motherfuckers that be like, oh, you know, I caught the disease and I got over it. You never had it, so I'm better than you because I got the antibody. It's gonna be constant division across the board, yo. This shit, it's never gonna stop, man. People's medical uh, status and and what type of treatments they're taking, that should be their own personal business. When we when we start getting into like personal decisions that individuals make for their lives, that's when problems start to arise because of that, man. Remember like years ago when it was taboo to talk about who you voted for? Like who you voted for was your own personal choice. Then it just became this big thing. Who'd you vote for? Who'd you vote for? And the thing is, when people ask who you vote for, they only want to hear you say that you voted for the candidate that they voted for. That's the only thing they wanted to, want, want, wanted to hear. I hate when people try to pretend like they're asking you a question uh, and they, they and they want an honest, like, open, objective answer. No. They want, when they ask a question like who you voted for or are you vaccinated, they ask you this question because they're vaccinated and they voted for a certain candidate and they hope you are vaccinated and you voted for a certain candidate so they can smile and be happy. Nobody wants to know that you voted for somebody else that they didn't, they didn't vote for. That's why the question is disingenuous. Instead of saying, who did you vote for? Ask specifically, did you vote for the candidate that I voted for? No. But that's the thing with this vax shit, it's just constant fucking division. I can almost guarantee if 95% of the public was vaccinated, I can guarantee more foes will be arguing over which vaccine you chose to put in your body. Do you know how I know this is a fact? You know how I know this is true? Because motherfuckers is willing to kill themselves over arguing who the best basketball player of all time is. Whether it's Kobe Bryant or it's Michael Jordan or LeBron James. Niggas is killing each other over some bullshit that don't mean shit. Your medical status is a lot more meaningful than somebody making a goddamn jump shot. And people willing to kill themselves over that. 
It's motherfuckers that argue over what's the better phone, the, the, the Android or, or the Android or the iPhone. And motherfuckers literally, I don't know if people kill each other over their shit, but individuals definitely roast each other, go back and forth, and shame each other over a phone choice. Motherfuckers argue and are divided over which is the better gaming console, the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox, whatever the new bullshit ass Xbox is. I'm, and I'm a PlayStation guy all day. PlayStation guy and I was a Nintendo guy. You, if, if you like the Genesis over Nintendo back in the days, you was the type of nigga that liked Hellman's over Miracle Whip. Uh, you was the type of nigga that liked Coke over Pepsi. And you, <laughs> you was the type of nigga that liked fat bitches over bad bitches. <laughs> but now, nah, man, it's just nothing but constant division. See, the right now, like, it's almost like an elitist mindset is being formed because like I'm vaccinated, I got the shot da, 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 da. I'm doing my part and if you're not doing your part, separate yourself from me you do not deserve medical treatment you should not be allowed to work in fact you should starve and die motherfuckers have this you should starve and die mentality over a medicine that no one knows the long-term effects of over a medicine that's only been out for about a year. Yes, they say, oh, they've done other studies in coronaviruses and different vaccines and stuff have been in the works for years. And while that may be true, this coronavirus is new and nobody really knows much about it. That's why people are still dying, even if they have these injections in their body. I hate when people say, uh, uh, you, you begin vaccine, you got a vaccine when you was an infant and you didn't complain. Two problems with that. A, I was a fucking infant, so how the fuck could I know what was being injected in my body? And B, if you look up the, the history of vaccines and treatments of that nature, the fastest vaccine within the past 100 years took about 10 to 12 years of data to collect for it to officially be approved. So you comparing some shit that had 12 years of experience based on some shit that had under a year's experience. That's like comparing a college freshman to a first grader. In no situation on earth would you compare the intelligence of a college freshman to a first grader. A first grader has a, a, a under a year's experience of education. A college freshman has 12 years of experience. You would never put those motherfuckers on the same level, yet we put in, uh, medicines that have had a minimum of 12 years to develop on the same level as some shit that only took, had like not even a year to develop. It's a poor, compa it's a poor comparison. It's a poor comparison. Yes, motherfuckers is dying from diabetes and eating candy and sugar and shit like that left and right. I, I totally agree with you. And motherfuckers still eat that shit and they don't give a fuck. But they're not dying instantly. They're not dying as soon as they eat a cookie the next day. And people are, are assume this risk and they've been seeing this shit for the past 30 or 40 years. This coronavirus and these new vaccines are something that just literally came out. So you can't expect somebody to trust something to have the same level of trust on something that just came out compared to something that's been out for a long fucking time. Those are called false equivalencies, and they're easy to defeat. Y'all need to stop doing that shit. It's bullshit. It's easy to defeat. And and the thing is, this, this supports my argument even further. If you really thought the medical industry, the FDA, and the government truly, truly cared about people's health 100%, then things like alcohol and sugar, if they really, really cared about our best interests with as much people that die and that need medication and, and that are filling hospital beds and X, Y, Z, then so many, more, so many more things will be outlawed. And the FDA, and I'm not saying the FDA approves everything, but the FDA wouldn't turn a blind eye to so many things that, that, that are put out. They say, oh, the FDA didn't approve cigarettes, but the FDA also didn't not approve cigarettes. The FDA also didn't forbade, forbid cigarettes, so fuck out of here, man. 
Not saying something still makes you just as guilty. Allowing something to happen still makes you just as guilty. Whether you allow some shit to happen or you were the motherfucker that orchestrated it. Of course the person that orchestrated it is that much more worse. But you like, you still say, hey, uh, y'all gonna do your thing. It could do something to you, but we'll still allow you to sell these cigarettes and sell this Hennessy and sell this high fructose corn syrup. But now all of a sudden y'all really care about our health? Somebody made a real good point. One of the reasons why they try to push these vaccines and 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 and, 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 and just kind of like shaming people and shaming the public because they want to they want motherfuckers to get back to work and they, they and they want the quickest solution possible to get this economy and things of that nature running running back up and running. And this is the thing: when you are desperate, when you are desperate for a solution, you will accept almost anything as the solution regardless of how murky and how shaky it looks and a lot of individuals i can see it in your fucking eyes a lot of individuals that went and took this jab they feel guilty about that shit but they are afraid to admit, admit it so they project their guilt on other people and try to make and shame you into getting that shit it's like motherfuckers that be crackheads on the low and try to like, shit on it. Hey, everybody doing crack. You know what I'm saying? This is a common. No, no, everybody's not doing crack. You chose to do that shit. Don't try to put that shit on me. You chose to make that choice. Because before you took a shot, in your mind was like, ah, oh, damn, you know, COVID might get me. That was your worry. But once you take the shot, now you're worried about two things. COVID might get you or the shot might get you. Now, I hope that the shot works. I don't wish bad on nobody. And if you never took a shot, I hope you survive it. I hope it works in both instances. But my logic and my mentality is, I caught COVID, I kicked this ass. I worked all through last year doing Instacart, delivering, working for a, a tra transportation company, all that. What the fuck is going on? Hold on, people drive the stupid. And in 18 months, I caught it uh, back in April. Kicked his ass. So why, well, first of all, they say there's the studies that come out came out in Israel that if you actually caught it and you survive it, the antibodies that you have in your body are six to 13 times stronger than somebody who's never caught it who's taking a fire jab. You could look this shit up. I'm not making this shit up. You understand what I'm saying? So studies tell me that I have more protection. I'm cool with that. And I already beat, I, I faced the disease and I beat the shit. So why would I inject something, something in my body that could potentially cause complications? Some sh inject some shit in my body that's supposed to protect me from some shit that my body already beat without it. I've already defeated the shit. That, but that's my logic. That's, that's my own personal choice. This is not something that I'm telling other people to do. This is, I'm just telling you my own personal mindset, my approach. And you can watch all my videos. Anytime I talk about this, I never tell people they're stupid for taking a shot. I never tell people that they're stupid for not taking a shot. I never tell people to, to go out and get the shot. I never tell people not to get the shot. I never do I never do any of those things. My issue is when people try to cause division and they try to shame because they did things, they did something that other people are sketching about. Since when since when did it become fashionable to shame people for being cautious or being worried or not trusting? We got so many atrocities that uh, at the hands of like the CDC, FDA, um, uh, uh, the government in general. They have a very sordid past of doing some grimy, corrupt things to their own citizens for years and years and years and years. So why are people surprised when people are skeptical? I'm not even talking about, to me, uh, uh, being a skeptic is not being anti-vax. Being concerned is not being anti-vax, especially when, when, when people are pushing something, and it's not like they're even pushing this shit from a stance of love. It's not even like they're pushing this shit from a stance of concern. They pushing this shit from like, fucking take this shit. You better, yo, I don't give a fuck about you. You listen, this for the greater good, whatever. You better take this shit. That's, that's some Adolf Hitler type shit. Like, how... 
How can some of you individuals not see this? And some of y'all is willingly like SSI soldiers. I think that SI. Some of y'all willing, will, willfully being SI soldiers when you want to snitch and ask people their records and ask for their papers and try to shame them and ostracize them and kick them out of your businesses and do all these things. You you are becoming those very soldiers that that Hitler constructed when you act in that manner. We try to force this shit on people, man. A Lamborghini. A Ferrari, a high-class Mercedes-Benz does not need advertising. The reputation precedes itself. When somebody sees something as, as, as a great product, you don't have to sell it. People are going to use it. People are going to take it. People are going to consume it. That's why so many people use crack and heroin and all this other bullshit because the reputation precedes itself and they go ahead and take it. If these quote unquote vaccines were the clear cut, oh yeah, this is what we gotta do, the, the, the obvious answer, then people will take it with less pushback. Alrighty, I gotta holler at y'all, peace.